she's had a lot of names. Apostle of the Cacti, Woman of the Joshua Trees, Friend of the Desert. It was the summer of 1935, and Minerva Hamilton Hoyt, the South Pasadena socialite turned desert conservationist, could barely contain her frustration. Won't you splendid park men in Washington put your shoulder to the wheel with us and let's go over the top with a million-acre reservation? For 10 years, she had been working with single-minded passion to protect a large swath of desert from 29 Palms to the Salton Sea. Her friends and allies called it Minerva's Monument. You know it today as Joshua Tree. The society hostess was not afraid to get tough with the men who held power. Her first challenge was to convince an American public that largely saw the desert as a destitute wasteland, that this was a valuable landscape worth protecting. Between 1929 and 1930, she staged elaborate desert installations at flower shows in New York, Boston, and London, shipping sand and plants across the country and amassing an army of converts to her cause. In 1934, Roger Toll, superintendent of Yellowstone National Park, came to California to evaluate Hamilton Hoyt's beloved desert for inclusion in the national park system. He concluded, It is believed that the area is not suitable for a national park. It is not the outstanding desert area of the United States. Hoyt and her supporters were furious and demanded the Park Service send someone else to survey her park. Someone who understood the desert. Someone who understood California. A few months later, they did. Hoyt threw a large buffet dinner for Harold Bryant, assistant director for the National Park Service, and a native Californian. Seeing such monuments well-rounded and of larger areas as to give full protection to the fauna and flora that... Her dream was realized one year later when President Franklin D. Roosevelt made her park a reality, inspired perhaps by a scrapbook she sent him in Washington, D.C. It would be in the public interest to reserve such lands as a national monument, to be known as the Joshua Tree National Monument. Hoyt had convinced the most powerful man in the nation that the American desert is worth preserving. 